Grant and his safari guests are in hot pursuit of a pair of lions. They're crossing a river to keep up the chase. It looks really, really deep. When they get in a little over their heads. Suddenly when you get to the middle, it is deep. The water starts coming up over the car about midway through the river. And I'm thinking, oh boy, we're going to get stuck. There's going to be a hippo. If we don't get out, I'm going to flood my fridge, I'm going to flood my radio, and everybody's equipment is going to get wet. Pull your stuff up off the ground, guys. Pull your stuff up off the ground. Last thing you want is to drown somebody's camera just before they have the most amazing lion sighting of their life. Stalling out mid-river leaves them in dangerous hippo territory. Kind of feel it so Grant guns it. You all all right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 We were all so relieved and yeah, it's another great experience that Grant's shown us, actually. <laughs> we got through the river crossing. It would have been really awkward getting stuck in the middle. Now we're on the other side. These lions could be anywhere. Finding the lions is turning into a wild goose chase. I know these lions are going to get up and move, drop down again, get up and move, drop down again. So I'm basically going on a tangent in the direction I saw them last heading until I eventually find them. In the meantime, the search along the river provides plenty of other animal sightings. Oh, look at the baby in the tree. Oh, look at that tiny baby in the grass. It's a troop of chakma baboons frolicking amongst a herd of impalas. The baboon babies are just like human babies. It's as if you're watching a couple of toddlers. <laughs> a little bit of a fight broke out there. It's really funny how the, um, the impala is just going right up to them and they're kind of just looking at it curiously. It's so playful. Mm. If there were lions in this area, these baboons and impala would be seriously on edge. Impalas and baboons often travel together. They're both prime targets for predators like lions, so they work together, watch for potential threats from on high and low. It's really cool for the guests to see a relationship between animals which is cooperative rather than I'm eating you, you eating me.